Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's event is be sure to do your research when planning a destination wedding. My very, very first destination wedding, I didn't realize that the bride had booked a resort during hurricane season. And if you've experienced that, you know that it's a very, very bad feeling when you either get caught in a hurricane or an earthquake, which is what happened to us. So here was the situation. The bride was super laid back, so was the groom. She didn't care there was rain in the forecast. And so it really wasn't a big deal. I really didn't worry about it or did I plan ahead for it. So it did rain on the wedding day, but the big event happened the day before. I was standing on the beach talking with the bride's parents and they were, the couple was getting a massage on the beach, like it was supposed to be super relaxing, right? All of a sudden, the ground starts shaking and shaking and shaking and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I must be in a bad dream or this is an earthquake. I never felt an earthquake before and at the resort with the beautiful pool, there's glasses, they start falling, things start breaking and 30 seconds of the ground shaking underneath you feels like three hours. And so it finally stopped and there was dead silence. You could hear a pin drop in this resort. And my cute little bride raises her head up and says, John, our love moves the earth. <laughs> And everyone in the resort that was laying out at the pool, even though there was shattered glass everywhere, started to laugh and it really broke the tension. And in my head, I'm secretly freaking out, wondering if the ground was about to open up and I was just about to fall in and die. That didn't happen, obviously. And that was the last earthquake that we experienced. It was the first one and the last one that I've experienced and I hope to never experience it again. But the next day on the wedding day, it rained and it poured. But thankfully, we had a private home offsite from the resort and it did have a covered porch with a pool, thank goodness. And so we were still covered, they still got great pictures. And towards the end of the night when people started drinking a little bit more, everyone seemed to wanted to swim and they jumped in the pool. And again, thankfully I had a laid back bride, but I would have planned a little bit differently. So the outcome was I educated myself on what islands during hurricane season, when it's not hurricane season. Of course, you're gonna get more for your money if it is hurricane season, but just beware and have a backup plan for your client. And I actually have a company on speed dial now that has umbrellas and rain boots that can ship to me overnight to any country in the world. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.